Hello students, once again welcome to Bholanath Academy. In this video students, we are going to see the problem based on chemical kinetics question 17. In question 17 students, following data were obtained during the first order decomposition of thionyl chloride at the constant volume. Okay students, at constant volume. Now here students, first order reaction is given the thionyl chloride which is gas. It will decompose and it will form the sulfur dioxide gas and chlorine gas. Okay students, at the time here, these data are given students. At constant volume, these data are given when time is zero. At the time, the pressure is what 0.5 bar. Okay, students, when there is a no decomposition, that means the pressure of only thionyl chloride is 0.5 bar. What happens, students, after 100 seconds, there is a formation of sulfur dioxide gas and chlorine gas. There is a pressure is increased from 0.5 bar to 0.6 bar. Okay, students, so these are the data with the help of the experimentally determined data. Now we are going to find the rate constant of the reaction. What will be the rate constant? rate constant means that we are going to calculate k of the reaction okay students so what is given students everything is given in question with the help of the given now we are going to find the rate constant okay students so students since it is a first order reaction only one reactant now this reactant thionyl chloride which is gas students it is decomposing and it is forming sulfur dioxide gas and chlorine gas okay students because of these two gases students the pressure is increased from 0.5 bar to 0.6 bar understanding students so here students we are going to represent time with small t and pressure we are going to represent with p okay students now students we have to find the rate constant what will be the rate constant that we have to determine with the help of the given value when the time is zero when the p is zero at the time pressure the pressure initial pressure that we are going to represent with p i okay students so pressure is 0 0.5 bar okay students when time is 100 second after 100 second students the pressure only the with the help of the p i am going to show it so p will be 0 0.6 bar okay students so now students we are going since all our gases reactant as well as product both are gases so here we are going to use the formula for finding the rate constant students you should know this formula that is rate constant is equal to 2.303 upon t into log of base 10 of ratio ratio of pressure initial pressure and it is a difference of twice of initial pressure and pressure after 100 seconds understanding students so this formula students you should know now students just put all the values now you know the t that is 100 second and you know the initial pressure is 0.5 bar and pressure after 100 second is also given that is 0 0.6 bar just put the value students and multiply it you will get the rate constant okay students so this way students in examination you have to do since students again i'm writing formula rate constant equals 2.303 upon t into log of base 10 of ratio of initial pressure and twice of initial pressure it is a difference between twice of initial pressure and pressure after 100 seconds after 100 seconds understanding just put the value students so 2.303 will be as it is as it is and time is what 100 second into log of base 10 your pressure is students 0 0.5 bar initial pressure is 0 0.5 bar and twice of 0 0.5 bar it is a difference and pressure final pressure is what 0 0.6 bar okay students now what happens students this will be as it is 0 0.2.303 upon 100 second into log of base 10 of 0 0.5 bar now it's been twice it will becomes one bar minus 0 0.6 bar okay students again students 2.303 upon 100 second into log of base 10 of 0 0.5 bar 0 0.5 bar one bar minus 0 0.0 0 0.66 bar will be 0 0.4 bar okay students bar bar will cancel now you you will find 2.303 upon 100 second into log of base 10 of 0.5 upon 0.4 okay students now this if you multiply 10 in numerator and, and 10 in denominator students to remove the decimal okay students we have multiplied same quantity that is 10 in numerator and 10 in denominator so this point will come out now it will become 5 upon 4 so you can say students rate constant equals to 2.303 upon 100 second into log of base 10 of 0 0.4 0 0.5.4 into 10 into 10 
which is equals to 2.303 upon 100 second into log of base 10 it will become 5 upon 4 when you divide students it will becomes 2.303 upon 100 second into log of if you divide 4 1s are 4 4 2s are 8 4 5s are 20 okay students you have to take the log of you have to take the log of 1.25 what will be the log students so with the help of the log table you can find the students when you take the log students it will be 3 2.303 upon 100 into when you, what will be the characteristic students before decimal you have one digit one digit minus one digit it will become zero now students in log table students 12 in fifth column when you see students it will be 969 okay students now just do the multiplication students this you can write like this also 2.303 into 0 0.096 this is this 100 is present in denominator when it will come in numerator students it will constrain as to minus 2 okay students now this multiplication with the help of the log table students this you have to consider as a y y into 10 raised to minus 2 with the help of the log table students when you are going to find so you have to consider this multiplication as a y now in separate students you can do like this y equals 2.303 into 0.0969 you have to take the log on both the side so it will become log of y log of 2.303 multiplication will become plus log of 0.0969 okay students when you take the log before decimal one digit the characteristic will be zero in 23 zero and add the mean difference of three you will find 3623 plus will be as it is students now after decimal you have zero students so minus one minus one it will becomes minus two now students in 96 in ninth column students you will find 9863 okay students now when you add students you will find one bar 3486 okay students so this is the value of log of y what will be the y students this log will come on this side it will becomes anti log you have to take the anti log of one bar 3486 okay students anti log of 1 bar we are taking as a 10 to minus 1 now when you find the anti log of 0 0.3486 students it will be 2231 in anti log table students you will find this number 2231 now when the category will be 0 when the decimal will be here so this is the value of y students okay students now this value you have to put in the equation 1 you will find therefore you will find since k which is equals to y into 10 is to minus 2 okay students now put the value students you will find the rate constant so students k rate constant equals 2.3231 into 10 is to minus 1 and 10 is to minus 2 okay students these are the 10 is to minus 1 10 is to minus 2 bases are same so you have to add the index students so it will become minus 3 so 2.231 10 is to minus now students therefore you got the rate constant 2.23 into 10 is to minus 3 second inverse so this is the rate constant students of the first order reaction this way students you have to do in the examination for two marks students they may ask in board examination this way you have to represent the answer students this is very important for the examination point of view if you like my video share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much have a nice day god bless you